Well, welcome back to the show. Uh, for those who may not know you, you were one of the students who started uh, March for Our Lives in 2018 after a mass shooting uh, at your high school in Parkland, Florida. Uh, I, I, you know, we keep seeing this happening, and, and you know, sometimes it feels like nothing is changing. And I just wanted to have you on so that you could maybe tell everyone what things have happened since you started March for Our Lives and, uh, and, 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 and what we can all do. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually really glad that you asked that because people tend to feel really hopeless about the prospects of ending gun violence. But since the march in 2018, so much has changed. Actually, over 150 laws have been passed on the state level all across the country. Uh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, and, and ranging from, you know, uh, uh, upping the age to buy a firearm in Florida from 18 to 21, um, passing extreme risk protection orders in Virginia and prohibiting firearms at polling sites in Colorado. So a lot really has been done, um, but the reality is, is that we need more. Uh, we need more on the state level and we need more, especially on the federal level because of gun trafficking across state lines. So that's why we're marching again. Uh, I, I, for, uh, yeah, I mean... It's amazing what, what, what you've done. I, I, uh, I don't know if you remember, I, but I met you back then. I, I brought my daughters to that uh, protest. Yeah. To that, and, uh, and actually, Demi was at that protest as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and it, you just never stopped, and you just kept going. And I, I feel like then, just seeing everyone and trying to talk to everybody, you, you're talking to students, and you're talking to, you know, you're talking to adults as well, but you're talking to a lot of kids out there, and you go like, oh, what, what can one person do you know, to get, to make change? And can one person do something that can make change? And you can. Yes. You've proven that you can. Oh my God, individuals can do so much. After all, I mean, movements are just a collective of individuals doing their part. So, I mean, if you're watching, you can vote. Vote in the midterm elections this November for officials that care about ending gun violence. You can donate to victims of gun violence or community aid funds or organizations like March for Our Lives that are doing this work every day. You can lobby. Uh, I was 17 years old when I first talked to a state senator in Florida. I mean, I didn't really have a lot of political knowledge back then. So if I can do it back then, Anyone can really do it. Yeah, um, and you can. Yeah, and I think the most important thing is also just to talk about this. Uh, it's really easy to look at your phone and, and think, oh, just another shooting just happened. Um, and, and it's easy to, to feel, you know, really dissuaded. Um, yeah. But we really can change things. Um, and if we talk to people, especially people that might disagree with us um, about gun safety policies, I often find that you can find one thing to agree upon, whether it's universal background checks or, you know, disarming domestic abusers, there's always something to compromise on. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's correct. You're marching in Washington, D.C. Uh, this Saturday, and, uh, and there's, there's going to be rallies all over the country. Yeah, there's uh, over 450 all over the country. Tell us about this. Yeah, so and, and how, do you, how do people know about this and where to go? And... Yeah, uh, well, you can go to marchforlives.com. Um, you can Put in your zip code and it'll show the local march near you. And if there's not one, honestly, it, I just want to emphasize that, you know, you can just go grab five friends and go to your local city hall with some posters and get your voice heard. Really, I want to showcase the geographic diversity of the gun violence prevention movement. Uh, it is so strong and with all of us getting out there on the streets, I think it'll really prove to our elected officials that we mean business, uh, and if you know they're not going to listen to us, we're going to vote them out this November. Yeah. I know you're also. Uh, is this your senior year? Or you're going into your senior year. I'm going into my senior year. At Harvard. At Harvard. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> cool. What? Uh, you're getting your degree in, in in government. In government and education. Yeah. Yeah. Was that always the plan for you? Um, honestly, just, just the last four years. Yeah, I, I think I really got into politics and youth advocacy after the shooting at my high school. Uh, that was never really the plan, but now, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll be the one writing the policy in a few years that I've been advocating for. Yeah, exactly right. I love that. Jacqueline Korn, everybody. For more information on this Saturday's March and how you can get involved, go to marchforourlives.com. Hey, hey.